Right now, global warming is measurable by scientists and not noticeable to the general public. So I'm Richard Muller, a professor of physics at the University of California at Berkeley. My daughter and I, Elizabeth Muller, created a nonprofit organization we call Berkeley Earth. The goal of Berkeley Earth was to do scientific research to address the issues of climate change. When the general public says, oh, it was hot today, or we had a huge snowstorm in the east, those are issues that when you look at the science, you discover that you have to average literally hundreds of sites, maybe thousands, and look at the data very carefully before you attribute something to global warming. I think we need to stop global warming, but this idea that we're going to do it by getting rid of fossil fuels is doomed to failure because it's the cheapest source of energy for much of the developing world, and they want to develop the same standard of living we have. The biggest climate catastrophe in the world today is air pollution, primarily in the developing world. We're talking India, we're talking China, we're talking elsewhere. In China alone, 1.6 million people die every year. What can we do to help China move away from its huge carbon dioxide production? The trick is to get them off coal, switch them to natural gas, and switch them to nuclear power through measures that will not impede or slow their economic growth. There are many issues that are extremely difficult. How this will affect civilization? What can we afford to do? Who's to blame? I don't want to play the blame game. I don't think we should. I don't think anybody should do that. That is unproductive. I'm enormously optimistic about the future. If you look at the world objectively, it's a great future. Think and educate yourself. Look up things, be questioning, be skeptical. It's your duty to be skeptical. And recognize that we live in a great world and what we're really looking to do is to keep it great and to make it even greater. I believe for our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, it really is worth doing something.